Hi, first grade readers. Mrs. Fusco here. I just wanted to make a video because I miss you guys. I miss seeing you in the morning, coming in to get books. I miss reading with you in the afternoon. And I thought just because we can't be in school together doesn't mean that we can't read together and practice our reading at home with our moms and dads and brothers and sisters and grandmas and grandpas. So I thought we could practice using some of the strategies that we've been working on during our time in reading. And the first strategy that I thought we could practice is one of the very first strategies that you probably learned way back in kindergarten, but it's still very important. Check the picture. Okay, checking the picture helps us figure out words that might be hard to sound out, big long words that we don't want to sound out because there's too many sounds. And so it can help us figure out words we don't know, but it can also help us understand maybe how the characters are feeling or make us, give us a clue to what might happen next. So checking the pictures is a very important strategy. And I don't want you to forget to do that when you're reading. And one thing you might hear Mrs. Fusco say in the reading room is you need to give me five, right? I said before we even look at the words, we want to look at the pictures and see what we see. So we're going to practice doing that today with a story that is very popular in my house. And you might recognize the characters from a cartoon show. And we're going to read Bunny Cakes by Rosemary Wells. And the bunnies in this book are named Max and Ruby. So if you know that cartoon, it was based off of these books by Rosemary Wells, okay? So when we're looking at the pictures together, I want you to do two things. I want you to tell me what you notice, okay? What do you notice going on in the story? And then sometimes, we're going to practice looking at the pictures and saying, what does it make us think? What does it make us think that's going to happen? Why is the character doing that? Maybe how a character is feeling. Okay, so we're going to practice doing those two things today together. Okay. Bunny Cakes by Rosemary Wells. I noticed something already. Do you guys notice it? Max is sitting in the bowl. Oh boy, he's a silly bunny. Let's see what happens. Okay, first page, I'm gonna give you five. I want you to take a look at that picture and tell me some things that you might notice. And maybe what it makes you think. I can tell you something that I notice. Max looks like he's making a mud pie. And that makes me think that he's going to get really messy. Let's see if I'm right. It was grandma's birthday. Max made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister Ruby. We're going to make grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff icing. I'm going to give you five. Max wanted to help. Don't touch anything, Max, said Ruby. Uh-oh, look at this picture. It looks like a big mess. Let's read the words. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max to the store with a list that said, hmm, how can we use this picture? What do you think that word is? You're checking the picture and you're making that beginning sound. 
eh, eh, eh. You guys think it's eggs? You're right. Eggs. Kiss your brain. There's Max. Looks like he's got a wagon. He must be on his way to the store. Max wanted red hot marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake. So he wrote red hot marshmallow squirters on the list. There it is. Hmm. That makes me think that maybe the grocer, grocer is somebody who sells groceries, might not be able to read his writing. I don't know if that's his best work. There's the grocer. How do you think the grocer is feeling? I think he might be a little bit confused. The grocer could not read Max's writing. Eggs, said the grocer, and he gave Max eggs. Check those pictures. What do you notice? Max is back at home. He has his eggs. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby. Don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. Mm. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said, what do you think the list said? Check that picture. You're right, milk. Here's Max. You notice. I notice he has a marker in his hand. I think he might be Trying to add to that list again. Let's see if we're right. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Check out this picture. Max came home. What do you notice on the ground? Hmm. I notice a yellow line. It looks like Ruby drew a line on the ground. It makes me think that maybe she's starting to get a little bit annoyed at her little brother. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. You can't step over that line. But Max crossed the line anyway. Over went the flower. Ruby got out her pencil. Flower. There's Max. He's back at his drawings. Hmm. Let's see. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters. 
flower, said the grocer, and he gave Max flour. Look at Max's face. How do you think he's feeling? Look at his eyes. Makes me think he's saying, are you kidding? You don't know what I want? When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max, the kitchen is no place for you, said Ruby. Ruby finished up her cake. Check out that. Give me five. Hmm. Look at that beautiful cake Ruby made. She baked it and cooled it and hmm. Look at this word. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. I was going to say frosted it, but that doesn't start with an F. This starts with an I. Hmm. She baked it and cooled it and checking the picture. Another word for frosting is ice, icing. She iced it with raspberry fluff frosting. You need something else, Max, said Ruby. Birthday candles, sil silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a brand new idea. Mm, check that picture out. What was his new idea? He drew a picture of red hot marshmallow squirters on Ruby's list and ran to the grocer. He could not wait. Birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, said the grocer. Hmm, what's this? Why? It must be red hot marshmallow squirters. We finally got them. Oh my goodness. How do you think Max is feeling? Look at his big smile. His eyes look so, are so wide open. He looks super happy and excited to me. Ruby's cake looked just beautiful. Max went out and put caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. Ew. Check that picture out. How do you think Grandma's feeling? She looks exciting. Look, look, her paws are up by her face. She has a smile. Let's see how she's feeling. Grandma was so... Oh, this isn't exciting. It starts with a sound. I'm going to cover up the ending. And I'm going to puzzle through it. Grandma was so ill, thrilled. Grandma was so thrilled. That's a juicy word for exciting. Grandma was so thrilled, she didn't know which cake to eat first. Oh. I wonder if she's really going to eat Max's earthworm cake. 
maybe she'll just pretend. So that end. So in bunny cakes, we use the pictures to help us understand how the characters were feeling. And we also helped us to understand some of the words that were in the book, especially on our yellow, on those yellow post-it notes. If we could check the pictures, it was pretty easy to use the sounds and the pictures to help us figure out the words. So now here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go and I want you to find a just right book. And that could be on Raz Kids. That could be a book that you have at home. And Mrs. Fusco in the comments is going to put a website down, lovingtoread.com. And that has some just right books that you can read on the computer too. And I want you to find a just right book. And I want you to practice giving me five and checking the pictures for five, at least five seconds before you look at those words, because that's going to help you figure out words you might not know. And it's going to help you understand what's going on in the story. In the comments below, make sure to tell me what story you read. So then maybe I can write you back and tell you, and we can talk about the book a little bit. I miss you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.